the ore as well, I've got 15,930 microfarads at 0.04 ohms. I had this new capacitor that Anthony sent me to this bank. I'm trying to start having some fun with this little one. I haven't played with this one in a while. I better mark that one out down on the board, but the uh, reading is before I start. It is. Oh, 16,100. At 0 0.04 ohms. I'll note that down for reference. Alright. Let's have some fun. Have some fun. Multimeter on. Charging. Ninety volts, taking a while. Too small a ballast. Yeah, I need something a bit heavier duty than that. Unplug safety first. Take it on the charge. Leave that shorted. Now I'll get a bigger ballast. Charge it up quicker. Right, let's try it now. Multimeter on. Plug it in. Yeah, it's better. That was almost 300 volts there. Not bad. Alright, I'm going to have to... Uh... Okay, that's been... Alright, unplug safety first. That's working quite well. More capacitance obviously takes longer to charge. That's discharged. Yeah, this will make a good filter circuit for my um, ZVS and things like that. The big PFC capacitor um, still beats this. So this will be a good filter um, circuit. My DC power supply for my ZVS. Okay, let's try my filter setup on this uh, driver here. It should be nice and quiet. About there, before we plug it in. Yeah, it's not a good habit to hold the lead by hand. There we are. Plug it in. Pretty good. I've got the filter connected. No filter. Filtration, yeah, that's good. Capacitor, uh, filter capacitor is discharging there. Okay, that's all done. Discharge. So I'm going to try the point one marker found on the uh, as a tank cap on the um, where is it? On here. See if it does nothing. You've got to get a leakage tester for these uh, lower volt, lower um, capacitance capacitors. That in there. This will uh, see if we get a result. If it doesn't make a change, that ought to be too low or it's leaky. So hold that there. See if I can do this. I don't know. Yeah, it held its charge. That one's okay, it charged up okay. There. This is a polarized cap though, so let's try one that's not polarized. Let's try one of the smaller um, Technico caps. This is a, a this is a porno one. See, this is a it's the same as this one here. I mean, and that's a point one, that's a point one. I always get the point one and point one confused. So let's try the point O one. Obviously, if it's a lower value, not going to make any difference. I might be able to tell. I should have set that in there. Oh, get the pliers handy.
I'm dead in charge. This capacity might be buggered. No, not charging the capacitor. Discharge the filter cap. Yeah, that one not charging at all. So that one is uh, leaky. It's not the most reliable way of telling you if they're okay or not, the one on the ZBS, but yeah. Point one, that can go on. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, if that one's buggered, let's arc it out. Let's arc out the buggered capacitor. It's all turned off. Yeah, I'd be buggered now. Did charge up momentarily, but uh, yeah, it's buggered. It charged up, but not for long. Anyway, that's EO World. Alright, oh, this Ford for Circuit works good for the ZBS. I'm happy with that. Anyway, that'd be enough for now. Thanks for watching.